Hey everyone, Axie from Wingbits here again. The topic of this hopefully short video is setting up your Solana wallet or perhaps multiple wallets for the Wingbits project. Couple of notes before we start. We have offered the ability to split earned tokens with your hosts by using either wallets they provide or ones you make for them. We think that this fleet rewards feature is a necessary component in today's deep in landscape in order for you to properly manage token reward sharing with those that provide a location for your hardware. We're also updating what we're calling the entire physical setup from antenna to station. So future people watching this will see the antennas page called stations and any mention on the site of antenna in this video, it'll probably say station instead. Fair warning, I'm gonna likely mess up in this video and refer to it as both antenna and station, so just know that they're the same thing. So on to the wallet setup. First thing you need to do is log in on the Wingbits website. Click the login button. You get a screen like this, you're gonna log in and you will see your station page. You're going to left click on the gear on the top right of the site. And once it drops down, you'll see a menu and settings will appear. Left click that and you'll be shown the account page. Ignore the profile for this purpose. We're just gonna click on the wallet tab and that will be a left click as well. If you haven't set up any wallets yet, or haven't finished setting up at least a wallet for each antenna, you'll see a warning below the wallets table. The warning tells you that some stations are missing a wallet. For each station, this will show you the alias of the wallet if one was set, or if an alias was not set, it'll show the station ID. That's the three words with the hyphens. At the most basic, every station requires an owner wallet or you're gonna see this warning. I should note that the next steps assume that you have created your Solana wallet address already. If you have not, go ahead and pause the video, do that now using whatever wallet app you prefer. First, let's say we have this one station and we have one wallet, which is just our Solana wallet that we wanna add. We're gonna click on add wallet. We're gonna give it a wallet name. Maybe I call this phantom cause I'm making it using the phantom wallet. I'm going to copy over my Solana wallet address and paste it in. By the way, if you're just setting up your station's wallet on your mobile device, you can likely just copy your public wallet address from your wallet app if you're using Phantom as an example, you just open the app on your mobile device and there should be a top right QR code looking button that when you click it, it gives you the option to copy your Solana address to the clipboard. If you're on a PC, but the wallet app is on your phone, my suggestion is to copy it using the method I just mentioned and then email it to yourself so that you can open the email on your PC and then copy and paste that long wallet address. You don't wanna type this by hand. I pasted the address in here. I'm not gonna click on host wallet. We'll discuss that in a minute, but this is for designating a wallet that you want to share earnings with the host. Next, I'll go to the drop down, which will give me a list of antennas or stations that are missing a owner wallet. We have one called test unit. I will click this. It'll pop up in the screen and I'm going to click add. Once I click add, we'll see that the name of our wallet called phantom could have called it phantom wallet, could have called it Bob, could have called it whatever we want. That wallet is associated as an owner wallet for this station called test unit. And it gives you a little bit of the wallet address just in case you want to do a quick double check. You'll note that there's no percentage here. That is because as an owner wallet, it assumes that you're going to get 
everything 100% unless you have added a host wallet that will get a percentage of those earnings. So think of it this way, there's 100% out there for the owner, host wallet will take whatever percentage you define later away from the 100%. Let's say that we wanna add a host wallet to this station as well. We have made an agreement, we're hosting the unit at a family member's house, we've agreed to give them 25% of our rewards, they've made a Solana wallet, or maybe we made one for them. So I'm going to click add wallet so that we have a new wallet to choose from. I'm going to call it Mary's wallet because Mary is our family member. I'm going to copy a wallet address. By the way, I am just copying uh, wallet addresses from some of the top whales in Solana. So none of these are mine. Do not send funds to these guys. They already have a lot. In this case, I will click host wallet. You can read here, a host wallet is a special type of wallet designated for managing rewards to users that are hosting antennas. So in this case, this is Mary's wallet. We've set it up for Mary or she set it up herself. We're gonna click host wallet. We're gonna say which station we want to attach Mary's wallet to, which station will be getting rewards. Test unit. We agreed on 25, so I'm gonna type in 25. I'm gonna hit add. Now we're gonna see two wallets, both Mary's wallet and the Phantom wallet, both attached to the test unit station. Mary is getting 25% of the rewards and the owner, us, will be getting everything else, which is 75%. It's as simple as that. Let's take, for example, we've decided to host this at Mary's house, and we want to run our own station as well. So I'm gonna quickly register a new antenna. Okay, I've created a second antenna called Bouncy Sapphire Tardigrade. I've aliased it as home. You'll notice it's reserved. It's because we're not going to keep this antenna and it is offline, obviously. That is interesting because you can attach the wallet before you get this station online, but I would advise get your station online first and then handle the wallet stuff. So we'll go back again to our settings, to our wallet, and we will note that there is a new antenna that's missing at least an owner wallet. It's called home. Again, if I didn't have the alias there, it would have the bouncy tardigrade, whatever. So in this case, we only want to add one wallet for ourselves. We don't want Mary to get any of this, but we've already created a wallet. And in this case, let's say we want to have both the earnings from Mary's hosted station and our station go to the same wallet. We can simply go to our wallet, which is called Phantom. We can edit and we can come down here and add the new home station and click update. Am I sure I want to update? Yes. Now we'll see something that's only slightly different. The Phantom wallet now has both stations listed. Test unit is shared with Mary. So Mary's get 25%, we get the other 75%. But the home wallet, you'll notice there's no host type anywhere in the list. So we're getting 100% of the rewards. All right, let's say that instead of both Mary's hosted station and our station going to the same owner wallet, my phantom wallet, I want to split the earnings so that I can track them separately. I want my test unit rewards to go to this phantom wallet and I want the home rewards to go to a different one. So what I'll do real quick is I'm going to update this wallet. I'm going to remove home and update and confirm. And we'll note again that home station is now missing an owner wallet. 
So we're gonna add a new wallet. We'll call it Phantom 2. And in most wallet uh, apps, you, you can't have multiple addresses. So I'm gonna paste another whale wallet here. And I am going to attach that to the home station. Once I click add, by the way, it says at the bottom here, wallet added successfully. So I'm gonna close that. If we look at this now and we're trying to understand what's going on, we have two rows that have test units. So a host and an owner have test unit. Test unit will be getting 75% of the rewards for me and 25% for Mary. For my home unit, you'll notice that there's only one wallet associated, just the owner wallet. So we will be getting 100% of the rewards. So this is just an alternative way. Uh, some of you may prefer to have all your rewards from all your stations go to your one wallet. Some people may prefer to split it up. We give you the flexibility to do that along with the flexibility to assign rewards for people that are hosting. Let's take it one step further. Let's say I can no longer have a station at my house because I'm moving and the hex is taken, but Mary's gonna still continue. What happens when I delete the station? What happens to the wallets? Let's find out. I am going to release Bouncy Sapphire Tardigrade, our home unit. And then we're gonna go back to the wallet page. And you'll note the wallet for that station has been removed. So it cleans up after itself. Okay, real quick behind the scenes, I added another temporary antenna. It's called Obedient Hemp Bull. As you notice, I didn't alias it, so it is showing the full device ID here. But I wanted to show an example. What if you forget and you do things in the wrong order? Let's say I add a wallet for a host. Bill, in this case, is gonna host one of my stations. And I copy over a wallet address and I click host wallet. I then try to choose the obedient hemp bull and specify uh, Bill, Bill was a little bit better at negotiating. So Bill ended up with 30%. I'm gonna click add. You'll note down here at the bottom, it says failed to add wallet. There's no owner wallet for the antenna obedient hemp bull. So you can't do that. You do first have to add an owner wallet and then you can add a host wallet that will get a cut of the rewards. Hopefully this covers pretty much the standard things that you would do. If you have any further questions, please connect with us on Discord. We're happy to help. Ask a question in this YouTube comment section and we'll try to help. Don't forget to check out our other videos on optimizing your gain and understanding how the coverage heat maps work. And we'll catch you on the next video.